we are now going to convert the equation to standard form for a parabola by completing the square on x or y as appropriate. So first let's talk about how we know this is a parabola. I see a y squared term but no x squared term. So automatically I know that this is the equation of a parabola. Also, since what I see is uh, no x squared term, just a plain x, I know I'm going to complete the square on the y portion. So we're going to start by rewriting my terms. I will have y squared minus 2y is equal to negative 2x minus 3. So I move the x term and the constant term to the other side of the equation. Now we want to think about what our magic number is. So I'm going to add, first I check, there's nothing in front of the y squared, that's good. 2 divided by 2 is 1, 1 squared is 1, so I add 1 to the right and left of this equation. And now I know that this will factor into y minus 1 quantity squared is equal to negative 2x minus 2. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it look like what the book calls standard form. Okay? And that would be y minus 1 quantity squared is equal to I factor out the coefficient on x which would be negative 2. So that will be that will leave me with negative 2 times x plus 1. That's the answer that you're going to see uh, on the answer key for this handout. But I would like you to continue and go through the steps to solve for x like we did on 18 and 19. And so um, I'm going to pause for a moment and just write the answer and so you guys can be surprised by the answer. Now there it is. I have solved for x and so our final result will be x is equal to negative one-half times y minus one quantity squared minus one. So I know this parabola opens to the left and it has a vertex at negative one one and I can pick a couple more y values to plug in and get a beautiful graph. Okay. Now we have one more question about parabolas. So let's read number 21. Use the vertex and the direction in which the parabola opens to determine the relations, domain, and range. Okay, so first I need to figure out what the vertex is and which direction it opens. So essentially what I need to do is go through the same steps we did in number 20 to complete the square and rewrite it in what we want as standard form. So I'm going to pause and do that, and you can look at my steps in a moment. Okay, so you see that I reordered my terms. I uh, added x and subtracted 40, so they end up on the right-hand side. I figured out my magic number was 36 by taking half of 12, which is 6, and squaring, and I added 36 to both sides. So I can factor the left and simplify the right, and then solve for x. So since this is solved for x, and a is, there's nothing there, so we know it's a 1, I know this parabola opens to the right, and its vertex is at 4, 6. So let me just, if I were at 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it would be up here, and it opens to the right. Now remember, the domain is the set of all x's that are used on this graph. And my x's don't start until 4. So the domain is 4 to infinity. The range is a set of all y's. Now it turns out that I'm going to use all of the y's because this parabola will continue to grow, spread out. So the range, negative infinity to infinity. So we can answer questions about domain and range from the graph or from the equation. Excellent.